let's talk about this this has been heating up the fucking social media waves since it absolutely happened and i love everything <laughs> about it because the conversation around it is really interesting because everyone's got a different opinion so this is courtesy of Kite Room Floor, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's the podcast is called. Let me give her a shout out because she's got a really good podcast. Um, I think it's called Kite Room Floor. I used to subscribe to it on normal fucking podcast platforms and stuff, but I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, she's moved it to Patreon. Let's see if I'm mistaken here. It's called the Kite Room Floor podcast. It's a really good podcast. It talks about um, fashion and shit. Yeah, this is what it's called. It's called The Cutting Room Floor. Sorry, my bad. I forgot the name of it. But it's called The Cutting Room Floor. It's hosted by a girl called Omondi. Omondi, is that her name yet? Yeah, Omondi. No, hosted by a designer called Resha Omondi, I guess that's her name. Sorry, my bad. And um, Fashion's Only Show is hosted by a fashion designer called Resha Omondi. And she does loads of really good interviews with random people and stuff in the industry and beyond. It's available obviously on Apple. You see the website here. But I think it's mostly on the behind the patreon paywall that's basically the best content you're going to get but definitely check it out if you haven't already but she did a really good interview and sat down with yasin bay aka most deaf and he really had some very interesting choice words about drake and i think his opinion about drake is really interesting because i don't agree with it but i it has sparked a lot of conversation on social media regarding if drake is hip-hop or not so let's play the clip like is drake hip-hop Drake is pop to me, in the sense that like, if I was in Target in Houston and I heard a Drake song, it feels like a lot of his music is compatible with shopping. <laughs> commercial music. Or as, or as commercial you know, music. shopping with an edge in certain instances. Fair. I like Drake's music, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Of course. I mean, I, it's, I, I it's get commercial, it. entertaining, fun, it's, good, it's, formulaic music. It's likable. Likable music, yeah. It's likable. Um, but is it. You know, I'm going to leave you alone. We're going to move. We're going to move on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so many, so many products. So many so, skews. So many skews. <laughs> Look at all these skews. Oh, so many products. So much merchandising. So oh, many I barcodes. This, I love this mall. <laughs> look at this place. I mean, look at this place. They have everything. Everything's here. They have everything here. Oh, this is great. This is a new Drake. You hear it? It's great. Okay. What happens when this thing collapses? What happens? When the columns start buckling, are we not in some early stage of that at this present hour? Are we seeing like the collapse of the empire? Buying and selling, where's the message that I can use? Right. You know, what's in it for your audience apart from like banging the pom poms? I completely understand. Banging the pom poms is crazy when most of his audience are banging their backpacks and their tambourines listening to fucking, you know, most deaf. They're fucking banging their incense on their lap when they're listening to him. And it? it's funny that he can say he's banging their pom poms, bro. Like, what? Most people are banging their fucking, their fucking, you know, their Nike boots. They're banging their fucking lugs. They're banging their beat up Timberlands listening to you, mate. Do you know what I mean? No, no one listening to fucking most Def in 2024, not even 2023 or fucking prior years. So he's talking out of his ass there. But you know what this made me think about? This made me think about this. You know what was really funny? This reminds me why the weekend, what he when he decided to make that pivot into being a pop star, I get it. Because me being a big weekend fan, I followed his career from the beginning. House of Balloons era, mixtape era, talking about Coke and fucking models and shit and not showing his face. I love that version of the weekend. But there was a distinct moment, I think it was around Kissland, when he put out the album Kissland, that the weekend made a concise effort to pivot and be more of a pop star. He started writing with that guy, I think his name is like Max Martin or something. He's a really popular um pop writer who's done a lot of great work with like you know the ariana grandes the justin biebers um you know all these other people he's kind of made incredible hits for and 
the weekend started to work with him more and kind of evolved his sound because I think he realized that R and B as a genre, same like hip hop, is very, very is very constraining. It kind of doesn't allow people to have range. It doesn't allow people to experiment. It doesn't allow people to go and try new things. And it doesn't allow people to go explore different sounds or to reach a wider audience. It may it honestly is very, very um limiting in terms of its scope, which is really annoying because hip hop in general, especially in the last few years, has been the number one music genre in the world, right? So if you're the number one music genre in the world, my argument would be if that's true, isn't it, shouldn't it be the case that technically most artists within that genre are then considered pop because it's the popular music? If hip hop is the number one genre in music in the world, it's the most listened to genre, and all the kids are listening to it, all the mums, all the dads, whatever it may be, of all walks and sh of all walks of life, all shapes, all colors and creeds, couldn't it be argued that every top rapper within hip hop is technically pop? That could be the case, isn't it? But then I go back to the whole tenets of hip hop. The tenets of hip hop are what? Graffiti, break dancing, DJing and rapping. I don't think you could say Drake isn't hip hop just because he makes music that's very popular. Because at his core, in I think every single Drake album, regardless of what it is, even fucking um, Certified Lover Boy, there's at least one record where he's just rapping his ass off. He already has one record rapid. One of the things that's kind of holding Drake back around being the whole hip hop thing and people not liking him is mostly to do with the whole allegations of him having ghostwriters. But when it comes to him actually writing and being an actual rapper, he's shown us in every single album he's dropped ever since he came out that he can rap with the best of them. He can out rap most of them. Just recently, he put out a fucking, you know, what was it? A six track EP or an add on onto his recent album that was mostly produced by the conductor and, a f and the alchemist and a few other people as well had production credits on there where he's just rapping his ass off. Most of the tracks don't even have choruses. He's just barring. He's just going bar for bar for bar, verse for verse for verse until the end of time. So the fact that he can put out that, that album off the back of people not liking the album when it first dropped, right? People didn't like that. What was that fucking album even called? I fucking forgot now. And I'm even, I'm being a Drake fan. And I forgot what the album is called. I think that kind of says it all. But um, For the Dogs, when For the Dogs came out, everybody hated it right everybody panned it said it wasn't good then he decided okay cool you guys want more rapping he puts out for the dog scary hours he puts out an additional i think is it six tracks at the end is it six yeah six tracks where he's just rapping rapping his absolute face off and absolutely fucking you know tearing and um, most people apart sneak this is here and there and reminding everybody that he can actually rap that's the funny thing about this whole conversation. But I think in general, what this is at the case of, the heart of this issue is this. This is, this is what I think. This is what I think. I think at the heart of this issue is that a lot of the older rappers in hip hop are jealous. I think they're jealous, but I think they don't want to admit it. I don't know why being jealous of somebody isn't necessary. I won't say it's a good thing, but I think being jealous of somebody in his position makes sense. Most Def is one of the most decorated, well-respected, technically proficient, high-level rappers in hip hop history, right? He is amazing. One of the best rappers ever. But unfortunately, the era that he grew up in, the era that he came up in, hip hop wasn't the most dominant music genre out there, right? He wasn't able maybe to pop and blow the way he probably, his talent deserved him to be maybe it's partly him maybe it's with the industry whatever it may be he didn't necessarily make it to the heights he probably should have made it to despite his unapologetic undeniable talent so when things change and then this guy comes around this mixed race dude who can sing who can rap or whatever that all the girls like and shit and he starts to make more money than you've ever made in your entire career in a short space of time he's breaking all the records and he's doing it almost with ease I think that's the allegation that Joe Budden was was having at Drake, and he was screaming at Drake on his podcast because Joe Budden, as an artist, could see and could feel that Drake was kind of going through the motions. And maybe he did admit it. I think with a couple of interviews with Elliot Wilson himself. But this guy is making more money than most Def has made his entire career, and Drake is considerably younger than most Def. So of course you'd have some level of jealousy that you think you're better than him technically, right? You're better than him technically but then he's making more money than you. I think it's perfectly fine to say you're jealous. You should be okay. I think maybe envy might be the more toxic and destructive, um, you know, uh, 
feeling to have emotion to have envy but i think jealousy in terms of like hey i'm also good at this thing i wish i could be making the money that he's making i wish i could be that famous that should be an okay thing to admit but maybe that is where we're getting what we're getting maybe the jealousy has kind of seeped into envy where you actually are despising the fact that this guy has become so successful because when i'm listening to him speak yes it's some fair critique but i'm sensing a lot of hate it's it's very it seems to come from a place where they had some sort of disagreement in the past um my assessment or my kind of you know if i had to guess what's happening here and you know when it comes to drake it always kind of revolves around girls so i think most likely this has to do with some woman this has to do with either with a woman drake fuck that he didn't know that was attached with most deaf this might have to do with all most deaf's bitches always talking about drake whenever they're at dinner because one thing you don't want to do as a man you don't want to ever seem like you're jealous in front of girls so you try and play it off so imagine you're at dinner right and you're with your girls right and they're just talking about the new drake album. oh my god do you see what drake posted oh my god do you see his new album oh my god do you see what he was wearing the other day you don't want to act like it's annoying you but it is annoying you so maybe that's what's the case here maybe he is fed up of all of his girls all his fucking you know all these bitches that he's been smashing on the road or when he's at these fashion shows are the ones that keep constantly talking about this guy and he hates him but he doesn't want to say it so he keeps it bottled in then the moment this um you know this host asked him the question it all came out to the surface and he absolutely exploded because this doesn't sound like somebody being critical this just sounds like somebody that's hating because that's the thing that i am disappointed in this because i feel like there needs to be more conversations like this anyway we need to have a return to um criticism and critique in culture in general we're missing it in the arts we're missing critique we're missing conversations like this where people can really break down and dissect you know somebody's artistry and maybe you know push back on the narrative around them or maybe offer a different opinion we're missing that but unfortunately nowadays i don't know why it is the case a lot of people that critique a lot of people that talk about this sort of stuff they can't help but sound like it's hate you know they can't help but sound like it's hate so even though this is kind of coming from a real place there is some maybe some truth to what he's saying i think the basis of all of this comes from a place where he legitimately doesn't like drake for a reason that's unbeknown to us at the moment and it doesn't have to do with music it doesn't have to do with the fact that drake makes popular music and like i said before i don't think there's anything wrong with that drake has told us from the beginning that he wants to be the rapper for everybody he wants to be as big as possible he does all these references to you know different countries and different cultures and and different scenes because he's inspired by all these things he just doesn't want to be like you know pigeonholed and stuck in one lane he wants to kind of broaden his horizons but i think in general hip-hop is very very um constraining in that regard that's why I understand why Little Yachty says what he says because hip hop people are really, really dogmatic. They're really boring. They're really stuck in their ways. They don't really allow you to kind of explore and do what you want to do. It has to be done within, you know, within their accepted kind of, you know, um, barriers and stuff. You can't actually just do it, go and do your own thing and be free. You kind of have to do things based on what they think is good hip hop or not good hip hop. But like I said before, I just think it's a bit insulting and a bit dismissive to drake's you know uh, category his discography his artistry his talent to say that he's just a target rapper or something because if he's a target rapper what's taylor swift if he's target in hip-hop what the fuck is taylor swift and taylor swift is like three times more popular as fucking drake how does that make any sense and if drake is target what's kendrick lamar then kendrick lamar is one of the most popular fucking hip-hop rappers out there he performs at some of the biggest European, mostly white-based festivals known to man. Those guys and girls in the crowd sing his fucking lyrics from word to word. Same goes for fucking J. Cole. Same goes for Nicki Minaj. Like, are these people fucking Target as well? Because they happen to be popular. And why is that a bad thing? It doesn't make any sense. Like, maybe because no one's listening to Most Def, Yasin Bey in 2024, it's a different conversation. But the idea that is it's a bad thing to be popular it's a bad thing to be have a big fan base it's a bad thing to have a wide appeal it's a bad thing to have most people like what you do is odd that's what happens when you're the best that's what happens when you're the number one person but this is probably again another reminder why maybe drake does kind of you know walk around the way he walks around and kind of keeps to himself and stuff because in the background a lot of these older dudes a lot of these dusty guys they are inherently jealous they're inherently jealous that he was able to you know crack the code and break it the way he did and we already see it with even with kanye i love Ye, but the way Ye was hating on drake from the beginning was odd the, the kind of you know 
their kind of off and on relationship was fucking bizarre but at the heart of it what you felt was like you know Kanye just couldn't you know get to terms or come to grips with the fact that Drake was kind of maybe you know stepping on his toes a bit he was becoming that kind of go-to guy that he used to be right when kids or the girls would come around and they want to put on some new tunes they wouldn't be wanting to put on a new Kanye they want to put on a new Drake so maybe that kind of can eat away our soul. Maybe there's something about an artist. Again, I haven't made music myself, uh, just only DJs, but there's some, maybe there's something about being an artist where if you're in a room and you make, you know, music and shit, you want people kind of talking about your stuff. You don't want them kind of gushing about other, another person, especially if you think you're more talented. Maybe that's what that is the case. But in general, I think this was um, incredibly disrespectful, um, incredibly mean-spirited, um, incredibly unnecessary, and if anything, it kind of took away from the point that he was making, which is kind of a good point to talk about when it comes to Drake's legacy and shit, right? Of like, you know, would he be remembered as a hip-hop great or would he be remembered more like as a pop star and stuff? There's, a, there's an actual good conversation to be had there, but, you know, this guy's hate blanketed it all. So, you know, I don't want to hear him crying, complaining. If Drake does come out and bar him to death, I don't want to hear this cry, guy crying. I don't want to hear him backpedaling and trying to fucking apologize for this shit, stand on your shit you know you're an old hating ass guy um you said what you said it's kind of cool whatever everyone laughed and let's kind of move on from there but i don't agree with him at all i don't agree with him at all i think if anything drake has shown us in the last few years that he has the range to do the hip-hop thing he has a range to go and tap in with the kids he has a range to make formulaic hits records that just you know transcend hip-hop and shit i don't think that's a bad thing hip-hop should always be an opportunity for people who maybe can't get in other genre, not can't get, it should be an opportunity for people to bring that sound to the masses, really and truly, in whatever guise that they can bring it in. I don't think it's a bad thing that maybe, you know, all the biggest hip-hop stars in the world aren't boom-bap type of artists. Like, I just, I don't think just because you don't make music that is primarily 808s based, that's mainly boom-bap, that, that doesn't mean you're hip-hop. The fact that you rap over fucking instrumentals should really make you hip-hop regardless. But again, maybe that's a conversation for another another you know another day but this idea that you can't be hip-hop because what you sing on the in the chorus because you have a lot of like women fans because you're really popular is like how are you trying to punish me for having a fan base how are you trying to punish me for you know for being good at what i do it's like I don't know. I think it's bizarre. I think it's odd. I think it's bizarre. I'd much rather people um, just, you know, say they don't like him for just not, it's just not your taste. Then try to justify it with like, oh yeah, I'm only into real hip hop. I'm only into this. It's like, bro, when's the last time you listened to a fucking Most Def record? Honestly, most people on the internet, when's the last time they actually played a Most Def record? Like, come on, man, let's be real, man. People just out here chatting the most shit for the most part, just to kind of appear like they listen to certain things. But when when the fucking Spotify rap again, people talk about what they talk about, right? All they all this shit, especially when it comes to Drake. But when that Spotify rap comes out and all the normies are out there posting their end of year, you know, um, stats of what they listen to, guess who's always in people's top fives? Even though they they swear he's a loser, he's too soft, he's zesty, all this stuff. Guess who's in everyone's top five all the time? Bitch, you guessed it, Drake. So most people are out here lying most people are out here fucking lying that's the name of the game here most people are out here lying 